Hey guys, welcome back to week 6 for the outdoor plants. I already collected a new plant for the outdoor area, but I will leave that for the last. So I will start with the Alocasia longiloba. So yeah, the new leaf that you guys saw last week that came out a little bit, it's already at this stage. What I find curious is uh, the fact that the petiole is way up there and the ears are this long. So basically it's almost 50-50 here to here and here to here yeah which the other baby leaves that came out didn't look like this so i'm pretty curious how it will turn out when it's done expanding and also the combs are getting more and more out from the ground yeah but i don't see any new leaves um like i said i'm not sure whether i will need to do the traditional way of trying to grow combs but for now, I'm not going to bother to do that. I will just um, leave them be. This one does look like it's splitting though. Right. Anyway, next is the Alocasia sarian. So this was the, again, this is the latest leaf you guys saw last week. And last week, you guys saw a new leaf coming out a little bit. Now it's at this stage. And again, for this plant, it always comes out really small. But this one is super super duper huge and yeah, look at that it's still far from being done coming out yeah i'm really curious how big this will get <laughs> it's so huge yeah yeah man, th this is not even enough <laughs> next is the caladium one and the caladium one the second plant is done uh, coming out and it's unfurling and yeah the first plant shoot is this one it already expanded bigger than this yeah meaning it's going back on track thankfully and this one is coming along nicely so technically this one should be bigger than this this one is rather big though oh wow yeah it really is big i just realized how much big it is <laughs> because before this uh, you guys saw it was actually much smaller I thought it was done expanding but apparently it did not finish at that point of time so next one is the alocasia poly this alocasia poly ah, is really one of the slowest grower you know, i'm not sure because it's in the weather or because uh, it got direct sunlight a little bit longer than the others but yeah since now it's been raining every day um, I'm not going to move it first. Once it starts to be sunny again, I will move it at the lowest rack to give it a little bit less direct sunlight. So yeah, next is the Caladium Red Berry. Yeah, this was the biggest leaf you guys saw last week. It's really huge. Yeah, and the other leaf already died. Yeah, it went really limbs and I had to cut it. And this, the shoot that you guys saw is beginning to unfold already. Yeah, I was actually worried that it was going to be stuck being filled up, but thankfully it's already unfurling. Uh, no signs of new shoot yet. Next is the Caladium Lindeni Eye. Yeah. Again, this one, yep, it's not done coming out of the sheath yet. And it's already so long. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to see after it's done unfurling. Yeah, and this one already uh, raised up slightly higher, so you see, it's not touching the bench anymore. Next is the Alocasia Mellow. So, last week you guys saw that this plant had a stuck shoot and I had to tear it open. And apparently, it's yeah, actually, now it's already growing finally. It was taking its own sweet time, but it doesn't look good <sighs> but i'm not going to meddle uh, in this anymore because uh, i really have no idea how to help it anymore if it's going through the same thing again so i'm going to let uh, nature do its work <laughs> next is the uh, alocasia silver dragon so last week i told you guys that i actually cut the flower the inflorescence um after that it actually came out a new one yeah look at that and then this one is a new leaf you guys saw it was just a leaf coming out from the shoot um 
Yeah, he's, there's already a new one. Actually, I'm not so sure if that's a leaf or also a flower. Kind of looks weird. Whoa, look at the stem. So beautiful how he's growing like that. <laughs> right, left, right, left, right, left. But anyway, once it's fully out, I will be cutting it again. Really not sure what that is. Anyway, next one is the Alokasia Dragon Scale. Remember last week, one of the shoot that was weird and died as it was coming out, and then a new shoot behind it was appearing. Yeah, this is it. It's already out this much. And there's a new leaf coming out here. It's so amazing how a thick foliage is coming out from such a small area. Like, like they're already ready, ready made. Really like there's a factory in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. There's another leaf here. The next is the Alocasia Lautabakiana. Yeah. Okay. So the previous ones, all the new leaves that came out, so much, much, much tinier than this. But this one <laughs> literally just came out from the shoot. It's already at this size. I cannot imagine how much it's going to expand. This Lautabakiana is also known as a purple sword, by the way, because of the because of the back of the leaves. Um, this one is a bit purplish. <laughs> and next one is a Caladium Hilo Beauty. This is the latest leaf you guys saw last week. And already a new leaf is coming out. Growing pretty quickly. So beautiful. The pattern on this, the design on this is getting more pronounced. Yeah. Wow. Next is the Colocasia Lime Gecko. Yep. This was the latest one you guys saw last week. And this was just a leaf unfurling. And it's already so much bigger than this. Look. Amazing. It's still very soft though. I think it's not done expanding yet. Oh yeah, there's already a new leaf coming out. Yeah, yeah. Next is the Alocasia Infernalis. Uh, as usual, this one is still no activity yet. And then moving on to the Colocasia Black Magic. Yep, this. So it's the latest leaf that came out last week and yeah it's bigger than the previous leaf so beautiful i feel like they're not getting enough sunlight i mean they're supposed to get a lot more direct sunlight that's why they become really black but this is only like um, semi black like halfway there yeah and yeah, already a shoot forming. Also, the babies are already this big. <laughs> I cannot wait to see this plant getting really bushy. And next one is the Alocasa Amazonica. Yeah, so um, in a few weeks time, I'm just going to do a before and after picture for this plant because it's so hard for me to catch up with this. I'm not even sure which is new, which is um, old. <laughs> but this one looks really huge though. Again, I will be moving in this to the middle. Yeah. And the last one, the new plant is... Okay. It's the Alocasia Cuprea. So beautiful. This is the latest leaf. And already a new leaf is coming out. I got this on Sunday, I think. Yeah, and I wanted to report it. The reason why I put it under the rag is because of the wind. It's been raining so much lately and the wind is very strong. And I couldn't report it into a bigger pot because I realized that I ran out of um, potting medium. <laughs> I just ordered and it just arrived. So I'll be reporting it soon. I don't want to put this on the rack and then seeing it fly away the next day. This plant was also on my 
to get list. The mature form of this plant is really, 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 really amazing. So unique. So yeah, this is the new plant. I have to put it under first. <laughs> so yeah, there is. <laughs> Another reason also is because I want it to slowly adjust to getting direct sun. Yeah. So anyway, that's the end of the week 6 for the outdoor plants. I'll see you guys next for the week 7 master bedroom plants. Can you see how much fuller it is now compared to before? If only that is growing smoothly, then you know, wow, it's, oh, I really cannot wait for the whole rack to be filled with plants so beautiful <laughs> so let's see how it grows bye